more than 200 members of the African parliaments are meeting in South Africa to deliberate on issues affecting the continent and its people with a view to promote African voices on the global development agenda. Now, the African parliamentarians were also encouraged to consider the in their discussion, the Continental Free Trade Agreement and contribute to promote the rule of law in the continent. The parliament, the par of course, the parliament was also addressed by the Commonwealth Secretary General for the first time since its formation. Here's more details of that in this report. The Pan-African Parliament was established to ensure full participation of Africans in the economic development and integration of the continent. The parliament is also intended as a platform for people from all African states to be involved in discussions and decision making on the problems and challenges facing the continent. A total of 257 members of parliament are meeting to deliberate on issues affecting the African continent. Our aim is to ensure that the voice of African people also finds its expression in the global development agenda. The interest of Africa should always find space on the global discussion table. Speaking on behalf of South Africa's President Suru Ramaphosa, Justice and Correctional Services Minister Ronald Lamula implored these parliamentarians to pay close attention to key projects such as the African Continental Free Trade Area as they deliberate. The Pan-Africanist Parliament has an important mandate of contributing to the strengthening of the culture of democracy, good governance and the rule of law in the continent. The African Continental Free Trade Area is also one of the tools at our disposal to contribute to, create, to greater integration. But it will require the finalization of the harmonization of standards across the continent and the streamlining of our supply chains, amongst others. For the first time since its establishment, the parliament was addressed by the Commonwealth Secretary General. This parliament has made it clear that the issues we face, including those on trade and development, are similar to the Commonwealth and similar to our connectivity agenda. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres was also expected to be a guest at this session, but was unable to make it.